Hey guys, welcome back to Living World with Ben Murphy. I'm Ben Murphy, and today we're going to be talking about how to make a lamp out of an orange. So, uh, I'm out here, and it's getting pretty dark, and I didn't bring my, um, flashlight or lantern, which I'm supposed to always bring with me, but me being klutz, I forgot, so, um, I have had an orange for my lunch that I brought, and I always carry oil and, um, all this different stuff that I've laid out here, um, this is my normal pack, so, uh, I was just like, I've done this once before, and why not do it again, so, uh, it's a, um, kind of a easy do-it-yourself project that, um, I think's really fun, it's, uh, kind of, it gives you a great, uh, um, reason to, uh, use up every resource you can out of an object, and uh, there's no sense of throwing away the peel and stuff when you can easily use it. So uh, what we have today is we have some oil. It doesn't have to be any certain brand of oil. You need this. You need an orange, most likely the peel. You need a piece of tissue paper, a lighter match, um, anything you have there, and a knife. Um, it could be, again, any brand knife. I choose the assisted open knives. I really like them. Um, they're easy to carry and uh, you to have a real sharp edge. So anyways, what we're going to do today is we're going to take this and you always want I'm trying to see which side I want here. Probably probably best if this side was down. So we're going to take this side, we're going to place it down. We're going to just cut around it in a circle. Try to get as neat as a cut as possible without damaging the top or the bottom. You want to damage that. So we're going to set the knife down. We're going to take this and we, we're going to try to gently peel it. We don't want to rip anything. We just want to take the peel off. Just like peeling orange, guys. It's not too hard. You're just going to run your finger down inside it till it separates and you don't want to rip anything if you have to you could probably turn this inside out but just going to kind of run your fingers in there till you take it off and so this is one side you want just like the roundness on the other side this is going to be the hard part because you're going to try to rip it without tearing it. If you tear it, you just basically um, ruined it and you're going to have to find another source for light. So, without making too much of a mess here, you're just going to run your finger and you just keep running it around the base of this, the peel until you separate the orange from uh, the um, bottom here. So then you give it a little twist and you have the cup. And so, it's really important to keep this. So the orange I'm going to set over here for later. It's uh, not too important how I'm going to eat it. But, um, let's see, let's just going to set it over here. That's not too important right now. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and I might have to cut a little bit the peel off to make it fit. You kind of want a snug little hole here to keep your wick in. Just gonna take those, just gonna cut. It's like the excess peel off, basically. There, and you're gonna put it right in the bottom like this. So it's gonna look like this. Right here, you could take this part. You could either add as a little extender, or you could take it off altogether and throw it away. Um, anyways, you're going to take it like that, then you're going to remove it because you don't need it right now. And so the wick is probably one of the most important things you're going to make. So what you're going to do is you're just going to twist it and hold, and twist and hold, twist and hold, twist and hold, and um, tissue paper has a... Uh, it goes back to uh, the shape it was before as it's going to unravel on you if you don't 
apply a lot of pressure to it. And the stickiness of the orange juice also really helps uh, keep it in. But see, you're just going to make a nice little wick here. And you're going to measure it. I could probably, probably going to uh, cut some off here if it's too long. But it's going to take the bottom hole right here and feed this through. And you're going to tuck it under. You're going to put this right here. Going to try to have it sticking up as straight as possible. It's not going to be like 100% straight, but um, you don't need it amazingly straight on here. So you're going to take this, you're just going to pour enough oil till it covers the bottom. Then It flies away from here, they're loving this stuff. You're gonna dip your finger, you're gonna coat as much of the wick as possible because it's gonna extend the life of your wick if you do this. Move it. Then you're gonna take your lighter, light it, it's gonna burn down a little bit. Oh, my bad. I'm getting burnt before doing this. Damn. It's not like my oil. Hold on. Actually, even smarter move. Instead of burning myself all the time. Gonna make nice little match here. There we go. Try to set this back up here. It's not cooperating right now. It's cooperating earlier. Set this back on fire. No. Hmm. There we go. Let's start now. A little incentive here. Burning me. See if you dip this in here, it immediately burns. There we go. Took me a little bit longer than I thought it would. The other one didn't, but as soon as the the oil starts burning, you're gonna have your wick. And since my peel is uh, absorbing a bunch of oil, it's not like, it's not ridiculous amount of absorption, but you just want to add just a little bit more. And this will burn for a heck of a long time. It's uh, going to provide you just enough light so you can get around camp. It's going to um, give you some reading light or whatever. And this, you could interchange um, wicks for a while, and uh, just one tissue paper should provide you uh, three or four wicks, depends how thick you want them. And um, it's going to uh, provide you some really good light. So uh, this is another little bushcraft tip I've learned over the years. I've uh, done it only once before because usually I come prepared, but if uh, you didn't bring something or if you don't want to rely on batteries, is perfect just an orange and you have one lamp and uh, I could probably make eight or nine more of these tonight if I'm uh don't make it back in time so I could just up camp a little bit before I have to get up tomorrow and I have enough uh, light to really last me for a while and it's a really nice strong flame too it uh the wind really doesn't affect it too much because the oil but um it's really awesome actually. I've 
this is the strongest flame I had. The last one had this little flame, but this one, because I probably use a smaller wick, I'm thinking. But the bigger wick definitely helps. I'm really happy about that. Um, I didn't think it would be uh, that big of a flame, though. But um, you could use that. And like I said again, if you just dip stick into the oil, oil, then put it over the fire. Get yourself a match, and you could use this to uh, light the thing instead of burning my fingers like I did like eight times there. It's just so stupid of me. I can't believe I did that. But again, anyways, wrapping this up. Uh, lamp with an orange peel works amazing. You could uh, make matches too if you want. It doesn't matter to me. So all you have to do is make sure you peel your orange right. You could use your cap to uh, extend the sides so the flame's not bounced around anywhere. So I've literally wasted zero of this orange here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this orange for my supper. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So uh, subscribe. Like, you do you, I do me. You guys have a nice night. This has been Living Wild with Ben Murphy. 